Here we've got a Cyrus Mono X and apparently there's no output so uh, let's uh, get the covers off and have a look inside. Here we are inside this uh, Mono X amplifier then and I have powered it up and uh, as you can see I've got a, a DMM uh, connected to the loudspeaker outputs and I'm reading 63 volts which uh, might be a problem for most loudspeakers uh, so what we then do is we've got a little uh, section here that uh, calls out the different supply voltages and there's a little test point and uh, I've gone through them all, most of them are fine um, but there's one here, this, this I'm reading 91 volts and that should be uh, plus 70 and then the one next to it is reading near zero and that should be minus 70 so the plus and minus 70 volt rails are, uh, they've gone wrong uh, and these are related to this, uh, these two bridge rectifiers here smoothing capacitors and then these regulators here, these are the plus and minus 70 volt regulators and I can see on this one here, this is the minus 70 which is reading zero and I can see that that capacitor has gone leaky um, and I have done some other tests before I started the camera and um, if we go onto the resistance range and then if I check on the output of uh, this is the plus 70 bridge rectifier and that's a dead short so either that either that capacitor is short um, or the regulators gone wrong um, either way you know we're going to have to take this board out now and uh, uh, have a look at what's going on so that's the next stage let's get the board out here we are then we've had the main board out of this amplifier it's uh, always a bit of a challenge with these mono block amplifiers because of the way they secure the the, the power transistors I've, I've never liked this arrangement um, but you know they've been doing it for 20 something years so it, I guess it works uh, so we had the board out and we, we knew we were looking at this area the plus and minus 70 volt supply and uh, I had to replace the two capacitors one of them was short, one of them was just leaky uh, replaced the two regulators they had gone and there was a couple of protection diodes supposed to protect the regulator but they, are, uh, they were gone also and one of the main reasons or the main reason that this area goes is because we're generating 70 volts and the input is nearly 100 volts you know so there's a 30 volt differential here and that's just st stressing everything here uh, and I never really, you know, there's no real need for that sort of input voltage in a circuit like this. Anyway, so these have been replaced and you can see the, the dead parts are up here and you can probably even see the leakage on the capacitors. Um, so, uh, if we look at the two supply rails, previously we had like 90 volts uh, where it should have been 70, so there we are, 69, quite happy with that. And then the other one. Um, there we go, minus 70. So the, these uh, two rails are now back and working quite happily. And if we measure the output voltage, uh, that's you know some some millivolts. So that's uh, uh, quite happy with that. You know, previously it was 65 volts, which would have destroyed any loudspeaker. So we're happy that this is uh, working now. Um, I did check all the other electrolytics, um, I never never found any issues with them, they were good for both ESR and capacitance. Um, so that's it, I think next thing then we'll go, we'll uh, adjust the bias we'll, and uh, we'll go and uh, uh, make some measurements on it and just see that the distortion and the like is uh, good to go. So here we are with the Mono X uh, amplifier put back together and I'm just outputting 10 watts here, this is uh, plus 20 dBV, that's 10 watts uh, and I've adjusted the f first stage uh, harmonic uh, balance, THD balance uh, and the harmonics look fine, my THD looks fine so I'm quite happy that this amplifier is uh, back to good working state